Hi there. Well, October is almost over. And I have about two days worth of events right here. That have happened in a medieval times. I'm going to start off with October 27th at 625 Honorius I begins his reign as the Catholic Pope and in 710 AD we have the Saracen invasion of Sardinia which began around 709 A.D. to 711 A.D. Now this nothing begins after their conquest of North Africa from the Vandals and the Muslim conquest of Sicily as the Lombards in the north of the Italian peninsula try to seize Sardinia but they have Corsica under their thumb but seem to fail in keeping Sardinia from Muslim hands which this happens quite a number of times throughout history until the fall of the Ottoman Empire where Italian states and other parts of Europe suffered invasions from the Muslims under the Sultans of the Ottomans. We have another event in 939 AD Edmund I succeeds Athelstan as King of England. You probably recognize Athelstan from show the Vikings. Another event, a founding of a city. In 1275 AD is the traditional founding of Amsterdam, Holland, or the Netherlands. Now we go on to October 28th. In 969 AD, after a prolonged siege, the Byzantines end 300 years of Arab rule in Antioch via occupation and a victory against the Muslims who took over Antioch. And in 1061 AD, the bishop known as Cadalus becomes Pope Honorius II. Oh, he is anti pope against another pope known as Alexander II. The schism lasts a few years, one of many schisms throughout the Catholic Church history. And in 1216 A.D., Henry III of England is crowned. Now this is one of the Henrys of England. And in 1420 A.D., Beijing is declared the capital of the Ming Dynasty under Yongle. And in 1422, Charles V's son succeeds him as Charles VII of France. Now these many kings are often named after one another, so keeping them straight would do well 
when doing a research paper or just knowing history? Well, that's all I have for today. You have a good one. Bye.